The first time Sasha saw Tam, she was having a heated discussion with the consultant about how things should be done. He thought to himself, boy, does she have some fire in her? I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of hot. Tam realised at this very same meeting that Sasha was not a lady, but a tall, handsome guy in an oversized red polo with beautiful eyes. It was not all perfect though. There was the issue of the little love triangle with another girl from work. She said, there's really no point to going on a date with Sasha. You have very different hopes, dreams and aspirations. <laughs> she goes! <laughs> She thought it would be a good move to encourage him to break up with his Tinder girlfriend that he wasn't so sure about. Very influential. Growing up, fiercely independent, always the body animal. Sashi boy, I think you have finally tamed my tan. She keeps their room way cleaner than she used to. I've really come to her apartment in St Kilda and literally could not see the floor from all the washing that had been done that just needed to be put away. <laughs> She used to claim she's really not picky and then she would list all the characteristics that an ideal partner should have and you really, you could be mistaken for thinking she was describing a man unicorn. I learned that Sash is so caring and loving towards Tam and it was so clear that they shared something very special. Sash also did laundry, cleaned, turned a blind eye towards what we call the wardroom. <laughs> it was at that point that I realised Sash really is a unicorn. <laughs> So it quickly went from, we hope Sash is good enough for Tam, to, we hope Tam doesn't fuck this up. Are you far away? In a new life? Sash, honest, hardworking, very intelligent, and he loves his grilled chicken at lunchtime every day. <laughs> I was there when Tam was trying to pitch the Hello Fresh meal delivery service to Sasha. And she goes, look, it's a new dinner every day. And you could just see on Sasha's face that the variety is the problem. I think the term of brother gets thrown around a lot, but for me, he really does feel like a brother. His mum decided that I would be a perfect person to give him a haircut. The boy was utterly terrified. So, Sash, today in front of everybody, I pledge never to touch Maria's head. It has been wonderful watching both of you adapt from being just the two of you to then having your beautiful little baby girl. You have the most tremendous gift of your beautiful daughter. One of the most delightful days and most important was the day when Maria was born. And I'm sure it hasn't been easy. Sasha once shared that for the first six months the house was littered with uh, cups of tea and tea bags because he hasn't finished a single cup of tea in a whole six months. <laughs> short three something years together we've been locked inside for months we've been doing some sleepless nights with maria gone through stress of failed business and a questionable career the rest of our life should be a walk in the park i'd imagine <laughs> i will always love you unconditionally for who you are with clothes on the floor and all and i'll always be by your side no matter where our adventures take us next Sasha, you are the love of my life. You are everything I never knew I needed. You make me happier than I could ever imagine and more loved than I ever thought possible. I promise that no matter what comes our way, good or bad, Mimi, Stenna and I will always be your family. 
and we will be your number one supporter. That's right, girlfriend. <laughs> you are my lobster. You are my person. You are my choice today and every day to come. Sash and Tam, you've built a beautiful life together and we are all so proud of you. We love you and wish you nothing but happiness. The Australians say cheers, but I hear the Russians say Nastarovia. Nastarovia! <laughs> to you our newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Mayoro. She is such an incredible woman. She is beautiful, she's smart, she's got a heart of gold. She's a wonderful mother to our baby and I think she just makes me a better man. I never needed anyone to complete me. I just needed someone to accept me and love me without condition and you are that someone. <laughs> I'm just saving my feet. Thank you.